folks, Tim here, FT Lot for the love of trains. Back with you as promised. Give you an idea of what I'm running for my control system and a quick layout tour of what I have at my home layout here. So, without further ado, here we go. Okay, folks, um, here's what it is it is a Digitrack system, and I have run 14 gauge bus wire with 22 gauge leads about every four to five feet and that seems to be working pretty well for me um, I have two blocks or districts a north and south district a the north district being run by the super chief DCS 100 and the south district by the super empire builder DB 150 in a booster capacity um, definitely gives me plenty of power for running multiple trains with multiple sound engines um, eventually I may need to further split each north and south district into sub districts of their own with the PM 142's I believe they are but uh, until until I absolutely need it, I'll hold out um, unless I do a different layout, which is always a possibility. So I guess the next thing we'll do is we'll show you the layout. And I'm thinking the best way I can do this is show you on paper first. Okay, folks, here's the, uh, I don't know, I guess I thought maybe the easiest way to describe my layout. Um, kind of gives you some of the dimensions. Um, it's a little paper cut out of about what my layout looks like in the basement there. Um, again, the long, it's about 28 and a half feet long. Um, then it comes back out 13 feet this way and then seven and then of course back in. And, and then over here it's about eight and a half feet deep and it comes out about 10 feet to this edge here. And then I ended up building a uh, duck under here because this was never part of my layout it was always uh, be you were always able to walk around it but I wanted to add a decent sized yard there so I could do some switching and this was the only way I could figure out how to do it um, and just for depiction here the orange would be the the upper level so let's say it comes out of the tunnel back here in this corner it comes around and then this is all uh, actually a freight yard here and I can show you that um, it comes down through this loop into a tunnel here back out that tunnel um, uh, there's the phone ringing so maybe somebody else will get it there we go comes out of the tunnel comes back around here and then it starts heading down down grade wraps around here comes back and goes into a tunnel and now we're on our lower side comes back through here out of the tunnel for a little bit back in comes back in here comes back out of the tunnel around in this lower section here back in a tunnel and then that takes it all the way around and then back up the grade along the back side of this wall all the way back up to the top um, there is some staging under here a track here there's an extra loop in here and there's two uh, two loops or spurs that go in under here um, if I had it to do over again I would certainly have more of a plan before I started this whole thing was never on paper it was just I built the tables because of the room I had and then just started laying track so this was never a planned layout it was all let's just see what works and what doesn't work and like I said in my other videos I've changed this layout many 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 times but now as you'll see I've you know done more of the ballasting of the tracks so making it a little more permanent and harder to change every every couple of weeks so but uh, there's a quick overview of what it looks like so um, next time I'll get the camera down on the on the layout there and then we'll start showing you some of the actual scenes here but this just gives you a pretty good idea of, of how it runs so 